Question 17. Calculate the value of the square root of tan 60 plus 1 divided by tan 60. Take away 1. Write down all the figures on your calculator display. You must give your answer as a decimal. Generally, whenever you're doing anything on a calculator, it's good to write down each step. Don't try to put it all in at once. Even though we could use brackets to solve this, it's a good idea just to take one step, write it down, do the next step, write it down. So that way if we get lost, or if we make a mistake, at least we're showing which stages that we've understood. So firstly, we need to know what tan of 60 is. I'm going to firstly work out what the tan of 60 degrees plus 1 is equal to. So on most calculators, you'll either have to push tan and then the number, just do whatever is necessary on your calculator. For this one that I'm using, I have to put the number in first and then push the tangent button. So this gives me 1.732 to three decimal places. So if I add one, that's going to give me an answer here of 2.732050. At this point, you know, this will keep going. Y your calculators are probably a slightly less accurate than this one. But it's a good idea just to write it down. So, to work out what the tangent of 60 degrees subtract 1 is equal to, we do the same thing. Work out what the tangent of 60 is first good idea is to push equals afterwards to make sure that you've got your answer and then we're going to subtract one. This again gives us another long decimal value 0 0.732058 with a lot of other numbers. So once we've got those two values we can work out what the tan of 60 degrees plus 1 divided by the tan of 60 degrees minus 1 would be equal to. Now you can type in all the numbers that you've written down and that way you'll get a nice accurate result. Another way is to put the calculation in again just using brackets to ensure that you have the complete the accurate number. Double checking that that was the number that we originally wrote down. Now dividing by 60 tan, take away 1, close brackets, which is equal to 3.732058, etc. Our final step here is to remember that we're looking for the square root of this value. So the square root of tan 6d plus 1 divided by tan 60 subtract 1. We've got our number in our calculator already, so let's just hit the square root button, which gives us an answer it says to write down all the figures on your calculator display as a decimal so that's going to be 1.9318565157815 I've run out of space most calculators will only go up to about nine decimal places. And you just write down exactly what you see on the calculator screen and that will be your answer.